This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome back to 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog Podcast. Um, we are back. Just one show today. Sundays we do just one show. Uh, we'll be back with two shows tomorrow. Plus, we will have a, a show on uh, MCR Podcast with me and the hipster Matt Hunter. Uh, MCR Podcast. Um, that'll be at uh, 4 o'clock Central Time, 5 on the East Coast, 2 in Pacific. Um, but we're back. Uh, typically, we do two shows a day. We'll be back with two shows. Uh, but um, um, on Sundays, we do just one show. And that show today is going to be a big one. It's a big one. Uh, it's Jared Big Baby Anderson. Jared Big Baby Anderson is the future. Uh, before we get to that, please like and subscribe. Um, share with a friend. Hit the hit the thumbs up button. Again, we give you two shows a day. Uh, we'll keep you completely up to date on the world of boxing. I will give you everything you need to know. If that's what you're looking for, please like and subscribe uh, and share with a friend. Uh, but today's topic, Jarrett Big Baby Anderson uh, goes to 7-0 with seven knockouts with his uh, sensational, really brutal knockout uh, over Kingsley Abay. Um, and I mean, Sensational, sensational knockout. Um, he hit him with a with, with a right hand followed by a left hook in, midway through the seventh round that absolutely put him out um, and put him out to stay. Jared Anderson is it. Jared Anderson is the future of the heavyweight division. Uh, him and I would say, you know, right now you have uh, Golden Boy has a kid, Tristan Calcruz, who's about 18 years old, who's really young, really athletic, really tall, but he's got to fill out a little bit. Uh, Jared Anderson is 21, um, and he is the heavyweight boxing version of Joel Embiid or Nikola Jokic, right? Like, for a guy that size, he shouldn't have that kind of skill and athleticism. I mean, he is just big all the way around. He's a force, and then he moves. He slips shots. He shoulder rolls, right? Um He's got herky-jerky motion. Um, he's really light on his feet. He flicks the jab from his waist, and it makes you miss a little bit. Um, he, guys 250 pounds aren't supposed to do this. I mean, this is a you know a defensive lineman doing this to you. He's a freak of an athlete uh, for that size. I mean, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal what he can do. Um, the power is there. His speed for a heavyweight is fine. Like I said, his footwork is good. He's light on his feet. He's just really hyper-athletic, big and strong. Um, he's got everything you'd want in a professional, you know, in, in a heavyweight. Uh, again, he's had just seven fights. He's just 21 years old. So he's got a ways to go. But he might get there sooner rather than later. Um, Kingsley Abay is a decent fighter. I'd like to see him step up and maybe fight Charles Martin. Um, maybe fight, well, Charles Martin for heavyweight champ. Calls to calm, um, something like that, because his skills are that he's ready to progress, right? Like um, he's still a little bit sloppy, right? He can still get hit, right? Uh, he still he has good head movement. He just has doesn't use it all the time. He still stands in front of you. He still he still has to get sharper uh, for him to compete with the top guys in the division. But he's getting closer and closer in only seven fights. Remember, he's only 21 years old. Uh, a heavyweight with, with, of that size, with just his jab, is going to go really far. You know, his jab is spectacular. A heavyweight who can flip the jab and keep you off of you, off of him. Just with that size, with that size and that jab alone, will take you really far in the heavyweight division. Then you mix everything else, and you mix the punching power, the accuracy, the athleticism, right? The brute physical strength, and you can't move him. Like, he's a bear in there, right, who's athletic and light on his feet. But um, there's so much about this guy. It's all there. Now, it's just a matter of time. And I don't know what gold, uh, oh boy, top works plans for him are. Um, and Brian Jennings? Is that a step too far? But I don't think it is, right? Like, 
the heavyweight division is in good shape moving forward, right? Like you have him, you have uh, Dubois, uh, you have Fabio Worley over in the UK, you have Tristan Calcruta. You have a bunch of young guys coming up who are good, who are going to keep this heavyweight ball moving, so to speak, right? Like there are good heavyweights on the way up. Michael Polite Coffee might be good too. Um, but this guy is so fluid and smooth. Right, he moves in there like a, a welterweight or, or a middleweight, making you miss shoulder roll. It's phenomenal what he can do at that size. Um, he's the future of, of the American, the immediate future of the heavyweight division. He could be a champion, what I say, within two years. Um, and, and that's in a very crowded division. But, but everything you'd want in a heavyweight is there. Top rank, who needs a future star? May have this, and then he's got the he, he's the big baby. He's got the pacifier on this guy who's massively big. Um, this guy's got some potential, and I and I hope top rank does with him what they need to, and they get him not just the heavyweight belt in the foreseeable future, but they get him. They make him a star, right? They make him a star, a, a crossover star where he can draw people in, and, and, and draw eyes on the sport, because this guy is really good. Like I, I like this, That's the name I like to throw next, Carlos Takam. Put him in with Takam next, and, and let's see how that goes, because this guy's that good. He really is. He's destroying people in just seven fights. This is 21. You know, they always say there's no rush, but there's also no need to baby him. When a guy is that good, and he's got everything, if he takes an L like Dubois to a guy like Choice, okay, he'll be back. Dubois will be back, uh, and Jared Anderson is now that guy I'm looking at, right? Like, Dubois could still be it, but let's he, – he, you can't give a guy a heart, right? Jared Anderson has the skills, the power, the athleticism, the movement. The skill, uh, he's got everything. Um, he could be the next guy. He could be that guy in the head for the next 10 years. He really could be. Um, is he ready for Dubois? Maybe. Maybe. Um you know, I, I know Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren like to work together. Maybe that's something we can see in the not-so-distant future. Um, let me know what you guys think of Edison's performance. Were you uh, as impressed as I was? I see him keep getting better and better and better, and he's getting closer and closer and closer to fighting a top-10 heavyweight uh, and, getting, and then getting in the title picture. I think within two years he can be a heavyweight champ. Um let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Again, please uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Smash the thumb, uh, smash the thumbs up. Uh, sh share it on all forms of social media. You can find me, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It is February 15th. I'm sorry, it is February 14th. It is Valentine's Day, February 14th, uh, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still up in the Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Let's make that change. Class 2021 uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.